Early Life of Vane Shauna Vane was born to House Vane, a wealthy noble family in Demacia. She experienced a privileged childhood, being able to enjoy solitary pursuits such as reading, learning music, and collecting insects. Shortly after her 16th birthday, Vane would return to home to find her parents dead, killed by a horned demon, Evelyn. The people of Demacia found it inconceivable that a demon would be able to slip past their defenses and murder her parents. But Vane knew better. Driven by her parents' death, Vane would seek out a mentor, someone who could teach her how to combat the forces of darkness. She would travel to the Freljor to search for her teacher, learning of the Iceborne Warriors who battled the Lysandra from the stories her parents used to tell her. While traversing the frozen tundra, Vane would be trapped by a ravenous ice troll. As the troll prepared to consume the young aristocrat, he would fall dead to spear of a grizzled middle-aged woman. She introduced herself as Frey and bandaged Vane's wounds. Frey explained that she dedicated her life to fighting the Ice Witch's forces after they killed her children and Vane implored her to take her on as a student. Determining that an aristocrat wouldn't have the resolve to fight against the forces of darkness, she refused. But Vane would not take no for answer. Vane challenged the Friljordian to a duel. If she won, Frey would have to train her. But if she lost, she would offer herself as bait for the Ice Queen's minions. Seeing Vane's determination, Frey would agree to train her, and the two would return to Demacia. Vane would spend the next several years training and hunting with Frey, growing closer with her mentor, and eventually seeing her as a maternal figure. However, she was suspicious as to how her teacher had such an in-depth understanding of dark magics. They would frequently travel outside of Demacia to hunt their prey, and tales of their valor would spread across Valoran. One day, they would catch rumor of the horned demon that had slayed Vane's parents. She had established a cult designed to do her bidding and lure more victims. As they tracked the demon to her lair, Vane felt fear that she would lose her mother figure again. Before she could express her concerns, they would be ambushed by one of the cultists, injuring Vane. In order to protect her, Frey transformed into a Freljordian wolf and tore the priest's throat with a single bite. Frey quickly returned to her human form, tried to explain that she became a shaman to combat the Ice Witch. But Vane fired a bolt through her heart, and any affection she felt died with her. Vane now resumes her hunt for the demon that killed her parents, as well as any other monsters that prey upon Runeterra. Monster hunting. Monster hunting Vane would take a job from a woman in Demacia. Her husband had become a monster that attacked the countryside. After tracking him down, she would put him out of his misery and take his body back to his wife. Vane confronted the woman, revealing that she knows that she is a Therian, and transformed her husband in an attempt to devour him. Vane swiftly dispatched the shape-changer and avenged the man. Rise of the Sentinels Vane was present at the great city of Demacia when Viego unleashed harrowings across Runeterra. She helped repel the army of wraiths alongside Poppy and discovered a mysterious crest belonging to the Sentinels of Lightcrest. A few weeks later, Demacia would be sieged by another harrowing. Vane took shelter in the Singing Swan Tavern and encountered Gwen, Lucian, Senna, and a Sentinel rookie seeking more information about the origin of the harrowing. The Sentinels discovered that the harrowing was focused around the Meiji Seeker compound, and Vane accompanied them to the epicenter of the attack. At the entrance, they would be met by Shivana, afflicted by the Black Mist, and the Half-Dragon would attempt to bury them. 
beneath rubble. The group frees themselves and venture further into the compound. Diego secures the artifact guarded by the Meiji Seekers, and they give chase to the ruined king. As they corner him, Shivana returns and attacks, transforming into a ruined dragon at Vane's provocation. They eventually manage to best Shivana, but Viego escapes with the artifact. As Vane prepares to execute Shivana, Senna convinces her not to, and they agree to lock her up in the Mage Seeker dungeon. Seeing how ineffective her silver weapons were against the Black Mist, Vane offers to join the Sentinels in exchange for relic weapons. They return to headquarters, and Vane is sworn into their ranks and outfitted with a new uniform and a relic crossbow. Vane accompanies the Sentinels as they race across Runeterra, trying to stop Viego from securing more fetters. Along the way, the Sentinels would recruit Malcolm Graves. Vane's no-nonsense attitude would garner Graves' respect, and to Vane's dismay, friendship. Eventually, the Sentinels of Light would prepare their final stand against Viego on the Shadow Isle's crest. Vane and the other Sentinels battled Karma, Miss Fortune, Pantheon, Shivana, and their army of wraiths, while Akshan, Gwen, Senna, and the Rookie would defeat Viego in Kamavor. With the ruined king defeated, most of the Sentinels opted to return to their old lives. But Vane, agreed to take up their post in Demacia, while Lucian and Senna hunt Thresh, recently unbound from the Shadow Isles. 